Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm here with Dear Esther on iOS. I've been looking forward to it for a long time. Um, it's been on other platforms, but I was waiting for it to come to iOS. And it's here, and I've managed to avoid knowing anything about it, so I'm excited to play. Enjoy! Dear Esther, I've lost track of how long I've been here and how many visits I've made overall. Certainly the landmarks are now so familiar to me that I have to remind myself to actually see the forms and shapes in front of me. I could stumble blind across these rocks, the edges of these precipices, without fear of missing my step and plummeting down to sea. Besides, I've always considered that if one is to fall, it is critical to keep one's eyes firmly open. Hmm. Oh, I have a flashlight. Ew. Oh, that is nasty. Another nasty. Book. can't read it. I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to read it. It's too bright to read it. Huh. I was doing chemistry. Should we go up there? Okay. Let's try down here first. Sorry for any noise outside. Thank you. There was once talk of a wind farm out here, away from the rage and the intolerance of the masses. 
The sea, they said, is too rough for the turbines to stand. They clearly never came here to experience the becalming for themselves. Personally, I would have supported it. Turbines would be a fitting contemporary refuge for a hermit. The revolution and the permanence. around the whole island. Can I? Or am I about to hit a dead end? Let's find out. That looks like a cave. Dear Esther, I found myself to be as featureless as this ocean, as shallow and unoccupied as this bay, a listless wreck without identification. My rocks are these bones, and a careful fence to keep the precipice at bay. Shot through me caves. My forehead a mount. This aerial will transmit into me so. All overexposed, the nervous system, where Donnelly's boots and yours and mine still trample. I will carry a torch for you. I will leave it at the foot of my headstone. You will need it for the tunnels that carry me under. Hmm. That looks like a car door. Can I go up here? I don't know if I can go up here. It doesn't seem to be like a jump button. I sorry, there's a loud dog in my building now. So I guess get used to hearing it in my videos. Huh. Alright, let's go check out those other paths, shall we? this yes yeah, sirens too sorry about the sirens um, what is this Alright, those stairs are inviting me up, so let's go up there. Ah, is this the path from before, or a different path? 
Should I have tried that other path? I don't know. Reading Donnelly by the weak afternoon sunlight, he landed on the south side of the island, followed the path to the bay and climbed the mount. He did not find the caves and he did not chart the north side. I think this is why his understanding of the island is flawed, incomplete. He stood on the mount and only wondered momentarily how to descend, but then he didn't have my reasons. Hmm. When someone had died or was dying, or was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice, they cut parallel lines into the cliff, exposing the white chalk beneath. You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boats, and notice and aid, or impose a cordon of protection, and wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff paths died along with its hosts. My lines are just for this to keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. Hmm. Okay, I seem to have options. Or maybe not. Wait, why is there a fence here? Wait, so I can go either way? Uh oh. I quote directly, a motley lot with little to recommend them. I have now spent three days in their company. That is, I fear, enough for any man not born amongst them. Despite their tedious inclination to quote scripture, they seem to me the most godforsaken of all the inhabitants of the Outer Isles. Indeed, in this case, the very gravity of that term, forsaken by God, seems to find its very apex. It appears to me that Donnelly, too, found those who wander this shoreline to be adrift from any chance of redemption. Did he include himself in that, I wonder? We're just going to explore, I don't know, from where I'm actually meant to go, if there are multiple paths. Looks like we're going back down. There's a cave. Dear Esther, I met Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason or retribution, he still spiralled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life.
Looks like a shipwreck. Oh, I want to check out the lighthouse too. Let's see this key first. Unless it cuts through, then I'll. I threw my arms wide and the cliff opened out before me, making this rough home. I transferred my belongings from the brothy on the mount and tried to live here instead. It was cold at night and the sea lapped at the entrance at high tide. To climb the peak, I must first venture even deeper into the veins of the island, where the signals are blocked altogether. Only then will I understand them, when I stand on the summit and they flow into me, uncorrupted. Whoa. Seems to be a scientist. I don't know what that is. Looks like you found some food or animal bones. Where did he sleep? Doesn't look like a very comfortable place to sleep. All right, let's try to get over to the other side again. I don't know if I can though. If... Is it getting dark, or is it my eyes being weird? Um. Can I get to that lighthouse? I don't know. These rocks look pretty big. Doesn't look like it wants me to, but let's try. No. It doesn't want me to. Alright, um... Where did we come from? Can we at least get back up there? Oh boy. How do I get back where I came? Oh no. This might not be the best plan. I don't know what I'm doing. Probably not the smartest move. I dreamt I stood in the center of the sun and the solar radiation cooked my heart from the inside. My teeth will curl and my fingernails fall off into my pockets like loose change. If I could stomach, I'd eat, but all I seem capable of is salt water. Were the livestock still here, I could turn feral and gorge. I'm as emaciated as a body on a slab, opened up for a premature source of death. I've rowed to this island in a heart without a bottom. All the bacteria of my gut rising up to sing to me. Wait a second. If I can go here, maybe I can go to the lighthouse too. No, it's deep into the water. I probably can. It wouldn't let me before, so I'm just going to keep going this way.
Oh. I don't think I was here before, was I? Is that where I saw the car door? It is. Okay. Let's not fall down there. getting dark here. Huh, where does this lead? Uh oh. Um maybe I shouldn't go down. I don't know if I can get back up if I do. Should we try it anyways? Oh! What just happened? Dear Esther, I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. But although I have all the reports and all the witnesses and have cross-referenced them within a millimeter using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. It's somewhere between the turnoff for Sanford and the welcome brake services. But although I can always see it in my rearview mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. Hmm. I don't feel like I saw everything over there. Wait. There's two ways. Which way should I go? Let's check it. First. So many paths. A shipwreck. Can I get on there? Oh, 
I don't know if there's a way to get on. Looks like it's blocked. There's a lot of boats. Hey, more drawings. There must be a hole in the bottom of the boat. How else could new hermits have arrived? Oh, there's... What does that say? And... Never... And neither did he eat nor drink. Interesting. I had kidney stones and you visited me in the hospital. After the operation, when I was still half submerged in anesthetic, your outline and your speech both blurred. Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape, and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. Sounds like a car accident. It's only at night that this place makes any sluggish effort at life. You can see the boy and the aerial. I've been taking to sleeping through the day in an attempt to resurrect myself. I can feel the last days drawing upon me. There's little point now in continuation. There must be something new to find here. Some nook or some cranny that offers a perspective worth clinging to. I've burnt my bridges. I've sunk my boats and watched them go to water. Oh. Don't go up. Hmm. Dead end. That doesn't seem right. Is it really a dead end? Two dead ends? Guess I have two dead ends. Um, let's go back and look where else we can go. It's weird though, I can't get on the ship, right?
Where did I? Th I think I came from the other side. So let's see if I can go this way. I didn't come this way. Where am I going? Uh oh. This looks an awful lot like another dead end. It's gonna let me through. I don't think it's meant to, but then where do I go? Why did it even let me come here? from there, so where am I, where can I go now, hmm, or did I come from this way, maybe I came from this way, I don't see a path to follow though, been here there is nowhere to go maybe there's a path up here all these hidden paths going now. I don't think I came from here, right? I can't. Um, I don't have the best sense of direction. Might not be so great for this game. Oh! Definitely did not see that little house. begun my ascent on the green slope of the western side. I've looked deep into the mountain from the shaft and understood that I must go up and then find the way under. I will stash the last vestiges of my civilization in the stone walls and work deeper from there. I'm drawn by the aerial and the cliff edge. There is some form of rebirth waiting for me there. What 
is this? This looks like a barn, like stables. Where's the stables? Nice soundtrack. All right. I don't know if I missed. I feel like in the beginning already I missed some paths. There might be some alternate paths that I didn't take. Oh well. I could always play again, I guess. The Bothy was constructed originally in the early 1700s. By then, shepherding had formalized into a career. The first habitual shepherd was a man called Jacobson from a lineage of migratory Scandinavians. He was not considered a man of breeding by the mainlanders. He came here every summer whilst building the bothy, hoping eventually that becoming a man of property would secure him a wife and a lineage. Donnelly records that it did not work. He caught some disease from his malcontented goats and died two years after completing it. There was no one to carve white lines into the cliff for him either. Three cormorants seen at dusk, they did not land. This house built of stone, built by a long dead shepherd. Contents, my camp bed, a stove, a table, chairs, my clothes, my books. The caves that score out the belly of this island, leaving it famished. My limbs and belly famished. This skin, these organs, this failing eyesight. When the battery runs out in my torch, I will descend into the caves and follow only the phosphorescence home. It's depressing. Looks like you found some eggs. Ah, there's his bed. Even a suitcase. Oh, there's a bird. Okay. Did I not just enter that? What? What just happened? What are these weird scribbles? Wait, did I see everything I want to see up there? What about that beacon? Hmm. 
Wait, is that a different little... Is that different? This is where I just came from. I think I just... I think I'm retreading the same spot. Yeah, we've been here. Alright, let's head back up and see what I missed. I thought I saw two buildings up here and I the same as the other one though. Okay, let's keep going this way. Did I not come this way? Oh my god. I don't know anymore. This is why I will never go hiking on my own. I would totally get lost it's if I can't even keep track on a little mountain like this. A little island. Imagine a big forest. Well, this certainly seems like a path. What to make of Donnelly? The Lordnum and the Syphilis? It is clearly not how he began, but I've been unable to discover if the former was a result of his visiting the island or the force that drove him here. For the syphilis, a drunk driver smashing his insides into a pulp as he stumbled these paths, I can only offer my empathy. We're all victims of our age. My disease is the internal combustion engine and the cheap fermentation of yeast. Please don't fall off the edge. This seems a little narrow. Oh, there's still a chain fence rope. Okay, I guess I am supposed to be going this way, I think. They found Jakobsen in early spring. The thaw had only just come. Even though he'd been dead nearly seven months, his body had been frozen right down to the nerves and had not even begun to decompose. He'd struggled halfway down the cliff path, perhaps looking for some lost goat, or perhaps in a delirium, and expired, curled into a claw right under the winter moon. Even the animals shunned his corpse. The mainlanders thought to bring it home unlucky, Donnelly claims they dragged it to the caves to thaw out and rot, but he is proving an unreliable witness. Hmm. 
This looks like another... Like the bones of another ship. Climbing down to the caves, I slipped and fell and injured my leg. I think the femur is broken. It is clearly infected. The skin has turned a bright, tight pink, and the pain is crashing in on waves, winter tides against my shoreline, drowning out the ache of my stones. I struggled back to the bothy to rest, but it has become clear that there is only one way this is likely to end. The medical supplies I looted from the trawler have suddenly found their purpose. They will keep me lucid for my final ascent. What's with this crazy creature that's sort of a bird? Sort of? Sort of. Alright, I want to check out this area before I go into the cave. More dead birds. Maybe I should check the cave first. I don't know. This is very... I never know which direction to try before. What? <gasps> A whole bunch of books. It's a suitcase. A suitcase full of books. Sorry about the noise. Alright, let's check out the cave. That's a mighty big cave. More like a tunnel? That's interesting. Who lit a candle? Who lit this candle? Me? Whoa. I think that Donnelly's addiction is my one true constant. Even though I wake in false dawns and find the landscape changing and flowing in constantly through my tears. I know his reaching is always upon me. Whoa. Whoa, that's that's some cave. Like underwater? That's cool. All right, this seems like a good place to stop. More candles. Donnelly did not pass through the caves. From here on in, his guidance, unreliable as it is, is gone from me. I understand now that it is between the two of us and whatever correspondence can be drawn from the wet rocks. Okay, so yeah, that's the beginning of a chapter, I guess. Uh, so I'm going to take a break. That's Dear Esther. Check it out. And if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.